What's going on everybody, Wacko Backo here. So today we're gonna crack into some more battle styles here. If you guys saw on the last mail day, I got all these packs in from someone on Instagram. So uh, yeah, I thought I'd take a crack at this and hopefully we can get some good pulls out of these. Uh, I'm not really sure like where they came from in terms of like a booster box or any kind of random packs or anything, but uh, yeah, we got 10 loose packs. So let's try our luck and see what we can get. So I'm just gonna get right into it here. Got a busy week full of content planned out. Got a busy week full of schoolwork planned out. So uh, yeah, it should be another exciting week. Uh, this is the last week of this class, and then we go into another class. And uh, going right into the holiday break for at least a couple days of downtime. And then uh, just back on the grind. So uh, definitely stay tuned. Got plenty of good content, especially with the sponsored merch box coming in this week. Uh, so we'll have that mail day. I have some other mail coming in, so I might just lump them together. But I guess it just depends on when that stuff comes in. All right, so we have Girder as the reverse and a Marowak to start off. So nothing too crazy there. Going to the next one here. Oh, wow, that one opened up real easy. Um, hopefully we can get something out of these packs. Like I said, not really sure where they came from, but uh, got a pretty good deal on them. So I was like, hey, you know what? Get a couple of these opened up and try our luck. So let's see what we have on this one here. All right, so starting off with Timber. There we go, Girder's final form there. Or first form, sorry. Uh, we have Lickitung. We have Honchcrow, Minfu, Cherubi, Pachirisu, and Sparrow, Carnivine. We have that Single Strike Energy as the reverse. And behind that is a Drampa. All right, so two, <laughs> we're 0-2 so far, but it's all good. Let's keep going. And uh, like I said, let's see if we can get anything out of these. Uh, but if not, it's all good. I'm just glad to be opening up some battle styles. Still need a good amount of this set, especially when it comes to like the ultra rares and stuff like that. But uh, yeah, it feels like I'm just getting more and more behind on these sets now. Um, if you guys have been following me for a while or even in the beginning, I used to do crazy openings all the time and I always had stuff. But uh, just being busy with school and other stuff going on, it's kind of hard to either go out and try to shop for stuff now or to order stuff and wait for it to come in. Um, so yeah, I just, I feel like I'm getting behind on sets when some of the earlier sword and shield sets I was, you know, pretty much completing or like they're at like 80 to 90% done, but it's all right. I'll get these done eventually. All right. So, um, timber as the reverse, that's what we started off with behind it is a Mr. Rhyme. All right. So nothing there. Um, but yeah, so just thinking about what we have else. Wow. That one's already open. Okay, cool. Um, uh, always hate seeing that but give it the benefit of the doubt let's see if there's anything still in here um uh what was i gonna say um let's see so uh more stuff coming this week obviously like i said before got some chilling rain stuff uh, i'm trying to get some more evolving skies in because i know i haven't opened up a lot of that and like i said i'm interested to see what's in with these sponsored merch uh i'm hoping there's some of the new set because i still can't find any of that and i know it's been out since friday uh, as soon as I get some stuff and obviously I'll open it and just again it seems like I'm just behind on sets now but it's all right hopefully you guys are still enjoying it all right so we have Tower of Darkness here and a Primeape all right so <laughs> at this point I'd be happy to even just see a hollow all right <clears throat> on to the next one here uh, something else I wish I could get back into opening is more of the Japanese sets um, especially because it's a little bit of a preview of what we'll get on the English side but uh with shipping costs and just how expensive the Japanese products have gotten now as well. Um, I don't know. It seems a little bit like out of range. Uh, before, you know, Japanese booster boxes, especially because they're smaller, less packs, less cards. Um, you, you used to be able to get them for like uh, anywhere between like $55 and $65 a box. And now every set that comes out is $120 plus. So it's just like, it, it really takes out of it. And then again, you have to, you know, deal with all the shipping and all that. But uh uh, maybe one day I'll get back to open up Japanese stuff if it ever goes down in price. All right, so Weeping Bell and a Licky Licky. Okay. Um, let's see if we can get anything out of these here. Just to clean up some of these extra packs on the side. All right, another pack of battle styles here. <laughs> That's why these were sold so cheap. Not going to assume anything, but uh, you never know. And it'd be the same thing like if you go to a mom and pop shop and just buy packs that are sitting in a booster box. Um, you know, you're not really sure where they came from unless you see them crack it open, but, uh, I don't know. I just always instinctively try to like, you know, stay positive and think about the good 
Now, I mean, I know there's people out there that purposely try to, you know, manipulate stuff or they'll, they'll take all the light packs and they'll sell those and keep all the heavy packs, but you never know. Um, but again, I'm just glad to be opening stuff up. So uh, let's see if we get anything out of any of these packs. All right, so we have Dewblade and a Salazzle. You know, I talk it up so much just hoping to get anything out of this. But uh, yeah, nothing too crazy so far. Not the best way to start a new week, but uh, like I said, there's still more exciting openings coming up. Uh, definitely have some more celebrations to go through. So excited about that, especially after the big pull we had on Sunday. So if you didn't see that, definitely go back and check that. Uh, getting closer and closer to completing the classic, uh, sorry, the classic collector, my goodness, the classic collection part of that set. Uh, we get closer and closer with every opening. So hopefully we can keep pulling more of those cards and I'd love to complete that set before the end of the year. Pachirisu is the reverse and a fade links. Okay, come on. I know I shuffle packs around all the time, but this is, this is a bit brutal. Um, almost like the the uh, celebrations open the other day. I was getting nervous, and then we started started finally pulling some good stuff. But uh, yeah, let's see what we have on this here. I probably should have asked where these packs were coming from ahead of time, but like I said, I'm just instinctually like, all right, cool. Here's some packs. They're cheap. Let me grab them. Uh, the good thing is at least they're all real and they're not tampered with. I didn't buy like fake packs or anything. All right, Lux Ray is the reverse, and a Crumb Big. Oh my goodness. This might be the longest streak of not pulling anything from a pack. Um, hopefully that ends here, or at least on the last pack. But, uh, yeah, you know, it's, it, it is what it is, you know. Uh, you can't have heavy hits in every single pack, even though as awesome as that would be. Um, but I guess, you know, some of the positives are, you know, you guys get code cards out of this. Uh, I get a bunch of bulk to sort through and go through. Um, and at least some of the reverses, the ones that I need for my master set. So, yes, there are some positives. Uh, we have the Colossal as the reverse. Come on. And Victory Bell. Okay. <laughs> so nine packs in. One pack to go. And we haven't even gotten... A, look at it. It's clean. You can actually see the backdrop for once. I'm going to give away this random code I had sitting here. I wonder if I gave that away previously. Best of luck to whoever gets that. All right. So here we go. Come on. Give me some luck. Just want... Just give me a hollow. I don't even care if it's miscut, destroyed, obliterated. Just give me something. All right. Here we go. Okay, code card came off backwards on that one. Here we go. Four to the front. Let's just go ahead and flip this. Okay, did I just... Um, yeah, I just completely miscounted on that. So, cool. Um, so, of course, I would just botch the last one. So, we went 10 packs without getting anything, and then I botched the last pack. Um, yeah, that's... Uh, that kind of sucks. But uh, you know what? It's all good. It is what it is. Didn't pull anything, but uh, I don't know. I think I paid like $3 a pack, maybe three fifty dollars a pack, so nothing too crazy. But uh, yeah, got all kinds of bulk now. But uh, that's going to do it for this opening, guys. Hopefully, you guys have a better start to your week than this. And uh, if you guys are opening some of the new set, let me know how you're enjoying that. But uh, yeah, now I get to sort through all this stuff that... Uh, <laughs> yeah, anyway, uh, that's going to do it for me, guys. I'm Wacko Backo. Take it easy.